Hi everyone and welcome to another of my videos. Well, I'm actually really excited today because I'm finally going to try the NYX overhyped foundation. And I say overhyped because it's everywhere. It's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. It's everywhere on social media. People love it. I don't see or I don't remember reading any bad review. So I have really high hopes. So if you're interested to see me use some of the NYX new products, except not only the foundation, but other products too, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've been trying a lot of foundation and I bought Coco Panda here in Sweden have uh, these products. And the products I'm going to try today is the foundation. This is the Bear With Me Blur foundation. I have two shades. I have nine and four, light medium and light neutral. I don't know which one will suit me. On website, they look really dark. When they come here, it looks dark, but on the swatches and videos that I watched, and yes, I did watch because I had a really hard time to find a shade. Uh, they were really light, so I have no idea. I have these two shades and I'll try to mix them if the one is too dark, the other one is too light. I also bought the foundation brush. I had to try it, of course. I also bought the glue or eyebrow glue. Now, they had this out for a while, but not the colored one. They had the trans translucent, what's called. But this one is in shade um, dark brown. That was also hard to see or match. Then I have Smooth Wispy in Matte Lip Cream in shade Cheeks. And I do have the new Fat Oil Lip Drip Drop, Lip Drop or Lip Drip. This is in Follow Back. So these two. Sorry for my nails. I'm going to fix them. They are too long, I know, but I um, hurt my hand and everything is blue now, so I can't do my nails because this hand is hurt. So you have to be, you have to watch my nails looking bad for a while. Uh, I have some breakouts. I have a breakup here and some on here and a little bit everywhere, but see if this is going to seal everything. Okay, so the brush is not usually kind of brush that I'm used to when it comes to foundation. I'm used to a little bit bigger brushes, but this, this one looks to be really soft and nice. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the shade 4. Okay, so this is 4, light neutral. Maybe this is not bad. Maybe this one is not bad. Let's see the other one. This is 9, light medium. Let's see, light neutral. I don't have any primer on. Oh, this one is definitely too deep. Mm, definitely too deep. So I think I'm going to mix these two a little bit. Yeah, I will mix these two because I think four is a little bit too light. I will go with my Hydro Grip Primer. I thought first that I won't do that, but let's just do that. Let's go in with this primer. Because this usually works with all of my foundations and I know how I know what to expect with this primer, so let's just go with the safe card. I'm going to mix my foundations here. So, oh my arm. This is not good. Okay, I know how much to put, but this is the darker shade. Maybe a little bit too much of this dark, but... I know, I will try to build it up. This is medium coverage, matte blurred finish. Well... Let me be a judge of that. Let's put this one to the next to it. So, okay. So I'll go in with this brush and mix these two. Maybe I should use more of that light shade, but yeah, let's go with it. So I just wasted a lot of foundation. Don't do the same mistake I did right now. Uh, 
definitely apply too much on the brush, but we'll spread it out. Well, wow, this brush feels really soft. And it feels like I'm painting my face. <laughs> Okay, so it I did apply it on my skin. Uh, okay, I could definitely mix these shades a little bit better because I feel like the shade looks a little bit off, but that's not my biggest concern. This is looking a little bit heavy, and it's because I applied a lot of foundation. Though I do like the brush. I think I'm going to use the brush just to, you know, apply it all over the face. But though I do feel like I have some... It looks very a little bit dry on the skin. Uh, so I'm going to go in with a sponge. I do have a wet, wet sponge just to kind of remove the excess. I usually like using my sponges for the foundation and just maybe try to remove these streaks or lines that I have from the br brush because it does leave um, some lines. I mean, it's not smoothless, and um, but it this dried down to this uh, um, on my skin really fast the foundation though I have to be honest it does look a little bit heavy on my nose now when I pressed a little bit too much with the sponge it definitely removed a lot of foundation I uh, need to be careful so it doesn't look patchy oh no it does, even that looks more dry now when I'm trying to fix it It just looks like it's sitting on the skin. Here it looks really nice and smooth. It does dry down really fast, this foundation. So I don't know if this is suitable for the dry skin. Maybe if you put some luminous, uh, some luminous drops or something, mix the foundation with something to make it more uh, hydrating because it is dry and it does look dry on the skin. I do prefer matte looks and I do prefer, because I have real, really combination skin or a lot, Let's just say oily. I, I say combination, but it, I feel like it's getting more oily now with the years. I don't know if this will be my everyday foundation. I mean, I don't think it looks bad. It looks, of course, like I have foundation. It always, but I just, just doesn't, don't, blah, 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 can't speak. I just don't like how it looks on my nose. But I'm going to stop uh, going in with it. I mean, I don't hate it. I do not hate it. I had worse foundations. I do like the brush. Uh, really a lot. I'm going to continue using the brush. Just applied a little bit too much foundation uh, But I do like more coverage. So I have a lot of foundation left Which is a big bummer That I used that much. I'm going to go in with Joa's Beauty Eye Serum Concealer That I got from my friend Valerie. It's actually not available in Sweden. This one is very light, but it's also hydrating, so I feel like it's going to definitely help maybe everything look much more healthy. <laughs> and it's really easy to blend, so I feel like it's going to go in nicely with this foundation or play together with this foundation. Okay, now when I went in with the... Um, Concealer. I really like how my under eyes and these cheeks look. So, so far I'm starting to like the foundation a little bit more. Let's just put some cream products. I'm going to go in with my Tarte cream. I mean, uh, if you can't see, I really love this cream bronzer. It is definitely one of the best. So I'm going in with that one. I'm going to blend everything with a sponge. I'm just placing it. I really don't like how my nose looks. Now when I had the concealer, it kind of removed a little bit of the foundation. I know something is wrong with my nose. But usually I always, usually I have problems with my, uh, with the foundation sticking on my nose. I know some people told me to, I don't remember who, but somebody gave me a tip to apply the eyeshadow primer. Well, that didn't work for me. Let's just say it just looked <laughs> really heavy for some reason. 
So the products are playing really nice on top of the foundation. So I'm starting to like the foundation even more because it's kind of sinking into the skin right now. And I feel like it looks really, really good. I'm going to set this. I'm going to go in with the Huda Beauty powder. And I'm going to go in with this Beauty Blender puff. I did use it two, three times two to three times and I really like it so I'm going to yes maybe not apply this much but I am going to do maybe I should not but I'm going to do I really love this puff it presses the powder really nicely into the pores and makes everything look really smooth and then with a big fluffy brush I am actually going into the Norse powder uh, the powder what's called this is the translucent crystal Oof, it's everywhere. Oh, my face looks really smooth. It does look matte, but it looks really, really smooth and nice. So I am uh, continuing with the bronzer. And what bronzer am I going to use today? Well, let's just use the one that sits here in front of me. This is the Fenty Beauty number three, Private Island. It says it's one of the, my favorites right now. I got this one too from my friend Valerie. Look at this pimple. That's, this looks terrible. I'm going to go with this puff and clean. I feel like I messed a little bit too much with the bronzer. And for the blush, I am going to go in with this uh, My Dream Cheek Trio, Natasha Denona, and there is a blush in here that I'm going to use. While this is baking, I'm going to baking setting. I am going to try the eyebrow product, the Brow Glue Instant Brow Style. Maybe I should have used this before I did my face. So I've seen people using this product, so I'm going to try it myself. It's really thick. So people are going the opposite side. And then brushing the hairs. Okay, what do you think? I feel like it looks nice, but I will definitely, I feel like I need to use some shade in my eyebrows. I mean, I don't think this is enough. I mean, I really like how my eyebrows look, but I would like to use some pencil. I'm going to go in with Huda Beauty. This is in um, Rich Brown. Because I feel like I want to fill in a little bit right here. Okay, so I am going to go and finish my eye look and I'll be right back. Okay, so just fil finished filming this video or this makeup look, so this will be on my channel. But I'm going in with the Sephora's new Volumazi Lash Multi Applying Effect Mascara. Uh, big by definition waterproof and I've been use I did use it twice. I think yes twice now and I really enjoy it So it's not my first impression, but it's just a new collection <laughs> new to my collection and I de definitely want to use it This is with only one coat, but I'm going to do use use some lashes so I'm not going to build up the mascara more but I am going to now go really close to my mirror to use the House of Labs Intensify Echo Eyeliner, the white one in my waterline. Going in with the 100% Human Hair uh, Kiss Lashes. I got this also from my friend, friend Valerie. I have, haven't used them, so I'm kind of excited. Going in with my Lash Achiever. I can't find my scissors. They are a little bit too long, so 
it will make me look really weird, but I just want lashes now. Okay, so lashes on are on and I don't really like them because when I try to pull the other one really soft uh, a lot of this is only one or two lashes here but a lot of lashes uh, kind of disappeared from this eye and this one looks to be longer than the other one and I can't find my scissors so I look really weird but um, I don't know they're not bad but I love the makeup look though okay let's go with the lipstick lip lippies so I'm going to go with Ilamar Moscow. I'm not sure what it's called. This coloring pencil lip crayon. I don't know what it's, can't pronounce the brand, but this. I'm going to go in with this color and this is in shade raw. Just to have some base. Or line. This lip liner is like my lips, but better. <laughs> kind of just trying to make a nice line. Okay, then we go in with a smooth whip in shade cheeks. Okay, this is dry. This is definitely not going with the makeup look. Uh, it matches my shirt or my clothes, but my hoodie. But I like I don't like this. Can you see that it's um, okay? Um, I don't know. I think my first impression. I'm not really big, very very impressed with this product. Definitely wrong color. I thought it would be. I don't know what I thought it would be. Something different. I mean, I like the color, but it just doesn't go with the makeup look. But I don't know, I feel like see-through a little bit, it's uh, patchy. Let's go in with the follow back, the um, fat lip drip oil. Ooh, nice applicator. Ooh, I like that. The oil I really like. I'm going to clean the applicator. I don't want to put it back uh, dirty, but I enjoy the lip oil. It really made this lipstick a little bit more comfortable to wear. So guys, this is the final look. Now, I do like how the foundation looks right now on uh, most of the parts of my my face. I do not like how it looks on my nose and around my mouth. Uh, it looks really uneven and really cracky and dry, but I will wear it. It's what time is it? Where is my phone? 2.20 and I've been having this foundation off for at least one hour. I was done with the foundation one o'clock and I went and filmed this video and I talked to the talk on the phone a little bit. So one, since one o'clock I had this foundation, it's been one and a half hour. It does look better now when my oils are starting to come through, but it doesn't look oily, does it? But it does look a little bit dry. I just love how it looks on my cheeks and my forehead, uh, but I do not like this part right now. Maybe it will look, look good, but if you have any hair on your face, it's going to exaggerate that. So 
no peach fuzz. Need to remove my peach fuzz because it's really visible. Uh, but so far, it's okay. I do kind of like the texture of the lipstick. I'm not sure about the color. And I felt like it's a little bit see-through. I don't know if it's because of the color, because I had heard really good stuff about these uh, lipsticks. The oil I really enjoy so far, but we'll go and see that. But so far the foundation is nice. And the color is not that bad, actually, when I mix this too. Uh, maybe if I use a little bit lighter hand, maybe it will look better. The eyebrow product, it's wonderful. I just love that product. So that's no complaint about that. So I'm going to go on with my day and I'll be back in a couple of hours to see how the foundation is looking so see you soon okay hi everyone sorry for my messy hair but let's take this off okay my glasses I had them on I've been home the whole day not doing so much cleaning just cooking let's see the makeup now definitely okay there is a hair <laughs> oh so I definitely look shiny we can say that, uh, but healthy, shiny. I don't feel like I look greasy or oily. Maybe now when the lights hit me, I look really greasy, but not in real life. So the foundation is still there. It definitely looks much better than it did uh, when I applied it. So I do like it. I'm definitely going to continue using it. I really love how everything else looks here on my, my forehead, my cheeks and everywhere else. Uh, we're not wrong arm went off here when I have my glasses and when my glasses touches but that happens with every foundation so that's even if I powder a lot doesn't matter some people say press the powder use this powder tried everything it still doesn't you know I, I'm always a mess so it's going to disappear that's the fact lipstick did wear off it did dry down but I've been eating and it's it's been how many hours did I say no I didn't say seven hours it's eight PM, so it's been seven hours. It definitely looks better on the nose and mouth area than it did before, uh, but it does look heavy. I mean, I have to be honest, this is uh, a foundation that you will use when you go to parties. Maybe if I use less of it, I'll try, but it is a heavier foundation. It doesn't look cakey. I applied a lot and I will definitely try to apply less. But I do really like how it looks on my on my face. Of course, it looks better than it did, but still my nose is oily here. Um, it doesn't look so good. It, it definitely looks still a little bit heavier here around this area. Everything else looks just flawless. But it just could be me because this happens with almost all of the foundations. Love the forehead. The eyebrows are still there. Nothing's moving. Love the eyebrow products. My eyeshadow is still wonderful. I'm going to take off these lashes. I have to be honest, I really enjoy these products. I really like the lipstick now more when I was after wearing it a while. Uh, lip gloss, the foundation I do like. I do like. I feel like I do need to try to apply a little bit less, like I said. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I do like it. So I think it's it's a nice, uh, it's a nice Blurring, yes it is. It's definitely blurring. It definitely bl blurred my pores, my fine lines, my discoloration. So it is blurring. Um, but yeah, I like it. And I love the brush. I, the brush I do like. But I d did felt like I did need to go... I needed to go on top with a sponge just to, you know, even up everything. But I do like it. So guys, let me know down below if you try this foundation. What do you think about it? I did forget to apply highlighter today, guys. You didn't tell me that I forgot the highlighter, but I did forget the highlighter. So I, I remembered like an hour ago that I forgot the highlighter to put on a highlighter. But it is what it is. <laughs> okay, I will let you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit that notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.